Well, good morning, guys. We were on about changes in Benidorm. There's been some massive changes since we last put the camera up. Now, I've not put the camera up for about just short of two weeks, believe it or not. Uh, the last time you saw us, we were in Benidorm just showing you a few shops and things. We've been out with James and Helen from By The Curb. Oh, wow, have things changed? Mark has been really poorly. Um, he felt he was coming down with some kind of cold or something. And then the very next day, he couldn't even get out of bed, aching all over, muscle spasms, I don't know what it were, um, it could have been anything at all, he just had all different symptoms of all sorts, uh, but like I said, for two straight days, he could not get out of bed, and he didn't, and get this, he didn't eat for two days, so you know Mark's poorly when he's not eating. Uh, and it's taken its toll on him, basically, so for, for two days, he couldn't get out of bed, then when he was getting out of bed, he weren't getting out for very long. It was just short intermittent um, intervals just to go to the toilet, get a sip of water, straight back to bed. So for the eagle eyed of you, you'll see behind me, things have changed a bit because we are no longer on camping Benidorm. We were supposed to be there for about three days. We ended up extending twice to a Tuesday, then the following Saturday, and then unfortunately, even though Mark still wasn't right, we'd run out of spaces, um, we'd, we couldn't extend anymore because all the spaces had gone. So luckily enough, we went on search for that and we found this place. Now this place has been a godsend. It's called Camping Live, which is at the other side of Benidorm to where we usually stop. And we thought it might not, not be as nice, but, and you know, it's just gonna be a bit of a parking lot. Oh God, we've landed on our feet here, let me tell you. 16 pound a night at the moment, cause it's in September. And it's got a bit cloudy at the moment, but this place has been a godsend for me cause I can come up here and escape out of the van while he's having a lie down. You might think it looks a bit packed in, but you've got massive pictures. There's Benidorm just over there. And this terraced area, you can come up here and fetch your own barbecue stuff and yes just beyond there is a blinking pool nice modern showers shower block and they even have a dog wash and a dog clothing washing machine we've never seen that anywhere we've gone up to now unfortunately i started with i think a mild version of whatever he's had mind you men always do get it worse but i won't take that away from him he has been really poorly i had to mention on the madrid vlog that he really struggled editing that and when it came to it we had no sound on all the time that we were in Madrid city centre which was a real pain um, and that's when he was at his worst as well he actually got out of his bed to put that together and I tried to do a bit more to it but yeah we've come here to just recuperate really just to rest I think sometimes you can with YouTube it can become a bit manic and it can take over your life. If you are a regular to our channel, you will know that we put a vlog out every Tuesday and every Friday. Some people might say that's not a lot, but with the amount of editing we do on our videos, it is a lot. Um, it spends hours doing our videos. And a lot of you say that you appreciate the quality of the video that we do put out, so we appreciate doing it for you. It's just really hard when you're poorly. Uh, I've got the good old Benidorm mountain behind me. I love that view. That is one of my favourite views of Benidorm, that rock. I just look at it and it makes me smile. I don't know why. It changes colour all, all the way through the day. This has been my little bit of an escape coming up here. Uh, it's lovely and cool as well. You get a lovely breeze. I've just been letting Mark try and recuperate at his own time in the van. But we are getting out and about a bit and more. Uh, but he's, he's having a problem with digesting food at the moment. So he's not 100%. Not at all by a long shot, but we're hoping to stay here might solve all that. Now something else has happened as well. Oh, goodness me. It's all been going off, hasn't it? The last video you'll have seen us at KFC. And on the way to KFC, somewhere, I don't know where, we think it was between the shop and KFC. My mic's gone missing. I've lost my mic off my top. We went back and had a look for it, couldn't find it anywhere. Um, the receiver normally tells you when the, the mobile mic's near and it did light up blue at one stage and we thought we might be able to find it but so that's them, they're no good to us now because we've only got one microphone so if the quality changes from now until we can set up some new mics I apologise, we're back on to the, just the microphone on the, on the camera but luckily for us, Benidorm's not a lot Look, but lucky for us, Benidorm's not a very windy place so we should be okay but yeah, to say I was in the doghouse, 
Good job we're going out for a few beers that night or else uh, it might have been the topic of conversation for the rest of the night. Right, well it's a couple of days later now again and we are feeling loads better and guess who's out and who wants to play? Hey! You're doing better aren't you? Still having a bit of, bit of funny sweats and stuff aren't you but you're a lot better. And guess where we are? In an all you can eat. Chinese buffet. He's making me pay for it now for not eating for so long. Oh, I'm wasting away, literally. Well, the thing is, it's quite cheap here, isn't it? Sixteen ninety-five per person. I think it's bad. It's ten fifty for them set menus, isn't it? Really? Yeah, yeah. So we're on the water. <laughs> I've told to take it steady. Prawns and oh, this this seafood and everything here. It's called Real Walk and it's in Finisterre. And we've passed this so many times, and he said, Are we to go? Are we to go? I'm like, I'm not right hungry. So I couldn't say no, I could have when he's not been eating this week. So here we are. So that's plate number one, Mark. How, how many are you going to manage? Probably 20. 20? You, you've got about a week of eating to catch up with, haven't you? No, because I've not been eating much at all. Well, it's surprising. Right, well, what we'll keeps sticking camera in your face? I'll let you enjoy. And I'll let you know how he does. Well, you managed, what, three plates? I've done too bad, have you? And you're now on your second plate of ice cream. Let's cool you down now, done it in this heat. Yeah, yeah, it does. As you can see, we've got the place near enough to ourselves now. It's about five o'clock and everyone's gone. Because mm -hmm. nobody eats at five o'clock in Spain, do they? They eat about two, and then it'll be about eight, nine o'clock tonight, won't it? Be evening in a bit. But they did say you can stop here all day. I'll give them that. They don't give you a set time like in England. You'll have that two hours, won't you, maximum for an hour at table. So, yeah. That's actually not eating for another, another week now, Mark. Hopefully. Hopefully. So, there you have it. Real walk. And I've got slops down my fingers. Can you believe he's slopped down his top? Yeah, and my belly's sticking back out now. <laughs> I it did take in. much. It was sticking in now and sticking out. I don't know about you not eating for a week. I don't think I'll eat for a week. God. Stuffed, mm, really yeah. stuffed. We've never topped the food up much this time of day because it's gone quiet, hasn't it? So. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's two fellas just come in and got plates of seafood, you wouldn't believe we it. It would have cost a fortune in yeah, the restaurant, well, wouldn't it? We went straight to the normal takeaway stuff. We had T bone steaks, ribeyes, flipping everything, didn't everything. you? Everything. Prawns, shrimp, octopus. Yeah, so, and they, they don't rush out, like I say, you've got all the time flipping in the world. Scuttlefish, nipplefish, everything, didn't they? Anyway, came to 37.15 euro with two waters and the two half litres of water as well, so yeah. not bad. In English money, That's 34 quid. 33 quid, isn't it? So. Well, there you go. Yeah. We have seen some and they've been like tw starting at 20 euros, so good value for money with drinks as well. So get yourself to the real walk. So we've come down to Benidorm Harbour because we wanted to find out about boat trips for you guys. Unfortunately, we can't go because we have a doggy and it's very strictly no mascatas, which no means... No rat boys. Mm. So yeah, we can't go on any of the boat trips, but if you do want to go on any of them, they do the... He's crying now because he wants to go on a boat. He's crying. He's in the rucksack. <laughs> There's cheeks. Let me out. I want to go on a boat. We can't unless I get one of them dinghy and blow up ones. Like no, that, and that ain't happening. You're not taking my dog on one of them. Use it for me before, so, cause... yeah, you come down to the harbour here and you buy tickets. You've mm. got jet skis, you've got the boats, you've got everything water sports you can mm. think of. Come down to Benidorm Harbour. But if you're up near where we used to stay, up, 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 um, Camp in Benidorm. Camp in Benidorm. There is officers opposite Racco on the other side of the road, just a bit further down, called. Is it talk of the town? Something like that. Something know. like that. Got a big massive Union Jack outside of it anyway. You can't miss it. You can get your tickets booked up there if you don't want to walk all the way down here. But you but just yeah. can't take rat boys, can you? So. Got it. Even if he's in a bag, I mean, can't the, take for, him. For me, you can even go to Calp, can't you? Up the coast on, on the boat. And I stuff. think you can go to Alicante, Mark. Mm. And you can go to Benidorm Island, of course. The big massive rock that you see in the middle of the sea. Can't miss it really, can yeah. you? So if you're on holiday, obviously it's perfect, isn't it? Mm. You're always on, a, on about buying a fishing rod, aren't you? But yeah. We just never have time to slow down and do, do it, it, do we? No, we don't have time. I get one one day. Everyone's, everyone's fishing down here. Aren't yeah, they're all at it. I don't have a go. Oh, is that gentleman caught some it? No. All right. <laughs> so we're stopping right over there. That is over to Finisterre over there. And that tall towered one there 
Is it that one or that one more? The s That's the M shaped one, isn't it? Is that called the barley? I think so. Or is that what is that the barley right down there? Not right sure if you know, put it in the comments below. But yeah, the barley is one of the it was one of the tallest hotels in Benidorm. We are going to take you another another time while we're still here. We're going to take you onto that other beach, aren't we? And finish that and have a look around. Now we've nipped down without the camera, and it's <laughs> very pretty, but very small. It's small. It's all right, though, isn't it? Just if you want a beach and you don't want to go far from where you parked up, so. and you don't like crowds, it's it's not bad at all. It's a few bars and restaurants, mm. isn't there? So, but that... pre predominantly today we've come out cook for. Uh, I'm looking around wherever, aren't we really? That made a plan, but we're going to go and get some food as well. Yeah, because we are, well, when do we never get food? Mm. But we haven't done much in Benidorm because with this young man being poor there, yeah. I'm not 100% now. I keep feeling a bit nauseous. Don't know what it is, yeah. but struggling. But I'm, you know what those women like? We just battle through it, don't we? Men need about two weeks in bed. Yeah. I'm just saying, Mark, right behind you, that's where everyone uh, takes all the pictures, you know, where the, the chapel and everything is up there, isn't it? Yeah. Now I just wanted to show you that right underneath it, has a, this has a nice pretty little beach as well. If you don't like big beaches and big areas, this is quite nice, it's isn't little, it? Yeah, normally everyone's up the top, aren't they, looking down here? Yeah. So. Lots of regulations though, Mark. No mascotas, again. No, not... no boobas. No boobas, what's that? Give over. <laughs> I'm joking. This is a part of Benidorm that a lot of you do see. Yeah. This is the old, old town. I mean, this is like the Spanish end, isn't it, if you will? This is like, well, I call it Sp Spanish Quarter. And it's just, yeah, if we said guess where we are, you wouldn't know, would you? But no, it could be anywhere, couldn't it? It could be it? like Alicante, couldn't it? So. This is the original town of Benidorm. Yeah. Um, like I say, a lot of you don't see this, you all stick down to the where the all the new townish bits yeah. is, yeah. and the harbour area of it, so... Oh, look them pants for you, Mark, with them pockets. Oh, yeah, man. Look at that. Well, them bags are nice, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, so this is like a different take on Benidorm. You can actually come and have an holiday here and stop round here if you want, can't you? You're not, you haven't got to go into the English part. Now, we've only just walked in and put our scooters away. We've bumped into, what, six subscribers? And they're all stopping in the apartments in the old town because yeah. it's cheap as chips. And it's so easy just to get walk down into the... Just behind me there, that's the sea, believe it or not. So you can just walk five minutes and you're in the old town. You've got bars, you've got tapas, mm -hmm. you've got the English bars if that's what you want. You've got everything. Yeah. So what time is it now, Mark? 20 to 6, five, just after half past five. And it just feels like it's just starting to get buzzy now, doesn't it? It's like getting, getting a bit busier now. In a couple of hours' time, it'll be dead busy, won't it? So. Yeah, shops are all reopened. It's cooled down loads, thank God. We started with a bit of cloud this morning and it, yeah. we thought, oh, we'll get into Benidorm. It's going to be nice and cool. But by 12 o'clock it will be aching again, but now it's gone nice again now. Well, we got a windstorm last night, didn't we? Everyone had to rally to put the awnings away, didn't we? That was hilarious, weren't it? About half past midnight and everyone's coming out, fellas running out with all the junk hanging well, out we and everything, weren't we? Junk. Putting all the awnings away like, oh yeah, like that. Well, we were just talking to someone, weren't we? And all of a sudden it nearly knocked us off his feet. A big gust of wind did it, it wouldn't stop. So yeah. we let them go and put their own away and we ran back to our van and did exactly the same. Everyone rushing out when they put them all away. What have you been after? Just looking for a new lead for Chico, he's worn that one out of pulling mm, me down yeah, steps. Yeah, it's, it's not pulling you down steps. <laughs> have you seen the size of him? He's not even two pound, Mark. How can he pull you anywhere? I don't know if it clicks, doesn't it? So I reckon it'll go one day. So yeah, it does click. Them. It's getting a bit uh, funner. Yeah. I'd hate for him to get off or for him to snap. There's a lot of little dogs in Benidorm because everyone lives in apartments. There's no big massive houses in the centre of Benidorm. So little dogs are ideal for apartments, aren't they, Mark? Yeah, this this level you've got all the shops and it's all accommodation for everyone. Yeah. And that's the way it is, isn't it? And that's the way a lot of Spain is. So, so if you ever come to Benidorm, you'll know about the big markets on Wednesdays and Sundays. Well, this is the original market. This is one of the old okay. town markets, yeah. But it's, it's not up there, it's actually underground. underground. So you have some shops when you first go in, but there's sort of a big massive supermarket underneath, isn't there? Yeah, it's... So the funny thing is, Mark's going round mopping his brow and I'm saying it's getting a bit warm. Look what the shops are selling. Jumpers and coats. Because mm. to the Spanish, winter has finally hit, hasn't it? Well, the day like today, it's a bit windy and stuff. It's kind of a bit cloudy and it's like class of stormy here, isn't it? So. Crackers. Absolutely crackers. Now this is one of the good shoe shops, isn't it? Look at them for, what, well, 9 95 there, man. They're the ones that I get. That's yeah. the ones that I've got them. 
and I've got them. And they last long, don't they? Yeah, they're all right. They last long time. <laughs> long time. So it is kind of a Plaza Mayor, isn't it, Mark? But it's the smallest Plaza Mayor I've ever seen. They're normally huge, aren't they? Would have been years ago, I think. Right? Now I don't know what is over there, but there's some kind of restaurant. Every time we come, it's even, isn't it? Really, they're queuing, aren't they? Yeah. Although it's a little bit quiet at the minute, but another two or three hours' time, we absolutely will be full in here. When that sun sets, everyone comes out, don't they? Yeah. Mark's convinced they've got some kind of vampire relation or something because. I know, well, they all come out, don't they? But later on, it'll be really busy. Oh, look at these dollies, Ma. I do not do dolls. Does anyone else get freaked out by our dolls? I mean, look at that one. She says she's going to jump all over you. No, oh, they're too real for me. No. More shoes? somewhere to eat what a menu this place has got it's called the one euro bar mm. it's everything kebabs pizzas burgers it's like all fast food isn't it and i've gone for calamari and potato fritas chico's here chico's with some calamari aren't you he you want some calamari he likes the calamari doesn't he he's seen all these little dogs around he's he's on one isn't he look at him i'm watching for every dog going past oh i think we've found the king of calamari they are massive! That's it, aren't they? Look at your tray of chips. We've got kebab wrap and then chips, look, skin on fries. I've got a, I wish we'd just shared these. Mm. Wow, but that calamari is off the scale. It's like a pig's nose. Mm. Right, I'm going in for a, a taste of this giant squid. This is massive. Oh my god. Mm. That's just like a proper tapas bar place, Mark. Mm -hmm. This is really good. That is six euro. Two fifty for that. Bargain. How's yours? No. And he, he said, "Can I just have a? You can save your salad because I don't want it. <laughs> He's watched double meat, and that's what you got, didn't you? Yeah. I'm just saying to Mark, I think this is a full squid, and they've just chopped it up and made their own rings." What a good idea, much better than that, um, you know when you get them like onion rings mm. and they're really chewy and chompy, this just melts in your mouth, look at that. Mmm, well impressed. Well guys, that was amazing, that's some of the best calamari I have ever, ever had and it's like, you call it a backstreet cafe if it were back home, wouldn't you Mark? You wouldn't call it a restaurant. It's just like a street snack bar, isn't it? Like, yeah. It's busy, isn't it? No. It is now, look at it. When we sat down, there were no one here. Even, no wonder. What's my motto? Keep it cheap, keep them coming. Oh, mamma mia, I am full. That was amazeballs. Oh, well happy with that. Good one, isn't it? And he's had his kebab, so he can't be out whinge anymore. The one thing that these places don't do for Mark is any kind of Chinese thing. It's all either seafood or kebabs. The kebabs or... here are either chicken or beef, there's no lamb, you can't get lamb. Yeah, it's strange that, so, isn't it? So the beef's got like a bit of a beef burger texture, but it's nice, tasty enough. Um, but you can get a mixed one as well. So. Mixer, it's called, isn't it? Yeah. Your pinter. I'm just having a look at these uh, clothes here because, believe it or not, it's someone's birthday tomorrow. Even though we've got the dates wrong on the Facebook page. Yeah, I? I have I've re responded to a lot of people. Everyone sent me birthday wishes this morning. I'm like, it's not my birthday. Facebook's got it completely wrong, but I have had to try to tell everyone. So, but thank you for your birthday wishes anyway. Mm. Very much late appreciated. We made it down to the seaside. I've been stood outside the clothes shop for about two hours while Lisa's gone in looking at clothes. So, I've come down and walked down by this. Oh, looks like she's coming as well now. Bag full of stuff. It is her birthday tomorrow though. It's the only thing when you come away and it's your partner's birthday. Um, it's difficult to get birthday presents and Amazon deliveries and birthday cards. So she's coming now, look, swinging a bag, bag full of stuff. What well, you, you been said buying? you were struggling for my birthday, didn't you? Mm -hmm. So I bought myself a tracksuit and a dress. Oh, very I'm not nice. going to get them out here because we won't see Sandy them. and stuff here, isn't but it? But we'll show you tomorrow yeah. or when I get them on. 
It's supposed to be a birthday present from Mark. I know. I bought that. it myself. I was saying about birthdays. He has been a... really struggling. It, it, it's not like you can get Amazon deliveries here. We've tried out. We've messed around. You can do, but it's hit and miss. And the problem is, if he doesn't, if you don't get it, you've got your money tied up in it. So we we're going to get new microphones, and it's just been a. We far, are going to so. get new microphones. Well, we will be doing it at some point, yeah. But so. I'm going to get them for my birthday, but we just can't do it. Can't can't get them delivered here anywhere. Market and uh, Media Mart. Yeah. They so. want them delivering direct from DJ. I don't know to your address. We haven't got one. So yeah, I'm happy as Larry with these. I've tried them on and everything. Well, good Track shot. Suit and stuff, because it will be. I mean, we're still out here for another month and half, aren't we? I am always thinking ahead, mate. So track yeah. suit, it's coming up. I've been waiting about, waiting for about four or five months in a row. I'll, I'll be gobsmacked by the time we've gone back to England if we're not when we go drive back up and over the tops if we don't see snow. Over there. Snow. Yeah, like way where we come from over the mountains. It's one extreme stuff. to another, isn't it? We're sweating bobbers at the minute, and mm. you're talking about snow. Yeah, but another like six weeks time, something like that, like end of November. But look at that for a view over there. It's nice, isn't it? Like, Pretty, isn't it? That they've got lights on here tonight, but yeah, it's nice here, isn't it? You just said we don't spend enough time down here, do you? So we've been milling around. This is like class as the old town, isn't it? So yeah, yeah, definitely. We've been milling around here tonight. Haven't I haven't so. finished yet. Now that I've got them bargains. We're off to get some more work. So Mark's just come across this shop here and it's just full of branded alcohol. Safari. Sambuca, $13.99 now. From all over the world. I mean, look at that little stroll. It's 40, 60 and 80. Whether that is just around after now. shots, like. Quantro, Quantro, that's an old drink, isn't uh, it? It's all sorts, Ab Absinthe, that's off, that'll get you off your head, Mark. Well and truly off your head. Honestly, it is. I've never seen I mean, we don't drink this sort of stuff. But, no, I mean, we don't. He says stuff. when he went out of an out and ordered vodka, I nearly uh -huh. dropped fruit floor. But the back, I mean, there's all sorts of flipping. Uh, uh, Mummy and Chardon. Brute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got it all, hasn't it? Yeah. So this is just in the old town. If you fancy your favourite tipple, look at that. And underneath, wait a minute, it's fun. The famous grouse, seventeen ninety nine Teachers, euros. Bells. So, tell me in the comments, is it a cheap shop that? Because it seems very cheap. And where these stickers are all under there as well. Mark, I used to drink that when I met you. Oh yeah, lime bacardi. Lime bacardi breezer. I'm drinking acid, isn't it? I'm out of puff walking up here, we're walking up to Point, aren't we? We're walking to Benidorm Point. If you don't know what that is, stay tuned and we'll show you. This is the beautiful church up on the Benef Benidorm Hill, as I call it. That's stunning, isn't it, that? Yeah, it seems weird having a, a pub right next to a church. This is Benidorm Point, if anyone recognises it from the TV. Yeah. This is where we're walking to now. We've been up here a few times. Oh, we've been up here loads. Oh, there's a wind coming through there. It's beautiful. This has been on so, so many people's programmes, hasn't it? And vlogs. And vlogs, yeah. yeah. And, uh, it well, it's been on ours, the most famous one, isn't it? That beach now, really. Oh, yeah. You can actually see the harbour. You can see the harbour where we were earlier on, and we showed you that tiny beach down there. I call it Sex Beach, no. Why? I don't know. Because just... you're weird. So we've made it right to the end. We've just said we can't bother walking all the way down there to come all the way back. It's so like a ceremonial bit down there, isn't it? There's your view. A lot of people get married down there, believe it or not. Do they? Must cost a fortune. Bet Benidorm charge a fortune for that. Yeah. But then you come all the way back up here and it's always so well lit up, isn't it? Mm. You've got Levante Beach over there. And then you've got Pointy Beach over that way. Oh, what are you doing? Don't! Are you supposed to walk on it? Not even Chico will go on it. It's ruins, isn't it, from the castle that used to be here. Yeah, it's original ruins, isn't it? Yeah, they're, they're dotted all over the place, aren't they? You have to do some break dancing in here. Yeah, you can break something new, dancing. Yeah, definitely. They've done that up, haven't they? I swear they've done that up. It weren't as nice as that last I time we came. Were, I looked at them. Yeah, they've done it up. Like We're adding to it. I don't know. It don't look like as old as what they say it is, but it must be. Yeah. They've yeah. took the oldness away from it, haven't they? It looks quite new. Yeah. Oh my god! Down that, huh? No, don't go on that, please. <gasps> that doesn't sound safe. Look, Chico's on it. Yeah, really. Look, Chico's on it. 
Chico's been a daredevil, aren't you, Chico? You looked up from underneath, you see him walking oh, yeah. And the best thing is, of coming up here, it's completely free, isn't it? You've got this massive vantage point of all the Benidorm. Completely free. It's the best platform you can come and stand on to get a view yeah. of everywhere that you need to look at. It is a bit of a walk up, isn't it, from the old town, a bit of an uphill thing, but, you know, even if you're in an electric wheelchair, I'm sure you can make it up. So. Everyone said go up to the rooftop bars, but you have to buy a 10, 10 euro cocktail to go up <laughs> yeah. there, so... But well, this is free, but there's bars and things up here, isn't there? There's stuff yeah, going yeah. on throughout the year, and I think they do the fireworks from here now and again. Yeah, they do. It's a day off tomorrow, isn't it? Like a fiesta day. It's a so. nas- is it National Spanish Day? Something. Right. Isn't it? So we're thinking a lot of Benidorm might still be open, but I bet there's fireworks tomorrow night. Probably. So. It's like a bank holiday in England. What an absolute stunning view of Levante Beach that is. And right at the end, I don't know why, but that hotel just reminds us of Pac Man. It's like or, or a bit of Pac Man, isn't it? Isn't it? You can imagine it coming alive and gobbling all the lights up yeah. from the front, couldn't you? I bet they can animate it if they want. It'd be great, that, wouldn't it? So we're just walking down and the wind is beautifully warm against your skin, but it's leaving your skin feeling a bit sticky. Sticky Vicky? No. Oh, most like Sticky Vicky. Oh my god. Oh, look at that we've just found. So all along that line there, Mark, where the sea is. That's like what we call the old bit, isn't it? Well, that's the hotels, all the skyscrapers. Yeah. And that's the harbour, harbour wall we've just been down just earlier on, isn't it? My God. It doesn't give a year, but... But that's taken from up on this thing up here, isn't it, Mark? Yeah. Look. Mark, listen. Yeah, but they're in tune, aren't they? Yeah, but it's everywhere you go, you get the bells going. Yeah. I like, I like them, mate. Can't beat a good bell, can you? Right, we're having a discussion here. Does that look like Burger King or not? Because it's not, it's called Burger Uptown. Yeah. That is a Burger King sign, I swear it is. Oh, it's a wimpy sign. Comments below if you agree with us. Empty inside. It is empty, yeah. Because you know why? Everyone that's coming up here wants Spanish tapas. They don't want a burger. <laughs> so we've just found a really old picture again, haven't we, of Benidorm, and we're just trying to yeah. pinpoint places, and it's, it's impossible, apart from the little island that we've just been to. That looks like St Ives or something, but it ain't. There's the harbour, not even built. Well, it's just a shelter, isn't it? The boats on the beach. I thought you said bogs, I was going to say boats. But look at that long road that comes into Benidorm now. That's no longer there, uh, is it? Well, I don't think so. And there's Benidorm now, if you can see it with that light. It's a bit of a garish light. It's got like orange groves or something, doesn't it? Something growing there. It's weird, isn't it? Mm. Wow. Benidorm, 1952. What a difference. Well, I've just come across a shop that's selling everything for six euros and guess what you know it i've just got the prettiest play suit ever and it fits like a glove mark you can play in that can you play what about on, on town now with that on it well smart isn't it i put it on i picked the dress up at first and i thought how do you get into this so it's a play suit i want to show you when i've got it on six euros because it, it, it says six all around the shop, but it's to, to do. To do. We call it to do. But I've been corrected last time I went to one of them shops. To do. And I thought, I bet your money, I'll take it to, to till and it'll be, be like 12, 12 or something, six euro. Fair enough, isn't it? Absolute Fishing. bargain. Keep it cheap, keep them coming. I tell, keep yeah, telling keep, you. They're going in and out, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, keep and telling you. Looking, they're looking and thinking and going to go back later and get stuff. So. Yeah. You don't need charity shops in Benidorm, there's too many bargains to be had. So I can officially say I think we've spent up Mark. Well, the sun has set, everyone's come out to play well, and Chico's tea, knackered. So yeah. he'll be wanting to get back in his bag now. We'll get back on our scooters and head home, I think. Yeah? Yeah. I think it's a good plan, isn't it? Yeah, and we'll chill out for tonight. I might sit outside when we get back. See what see what the weather's like when we get back. Knock yourself out. Good morning from the motor on this morning. Another nice day outside. Nice and warm, and it's Lisa's birthday today, isn't it? It is, it's my birthday. I've got my birthday dress on. Look at this what Mark bought me. Well, I bought it last night and Mark gave it me this morning. I had all the input into it. Oh, is that, did you, did you really? Yeah. So this is one of the outfits that I got last night when I said I bought something. I love it, it's lovely and cool, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> now, something else I got last night I said I'd show you as well. Look at this. When it gets a bit nippier. Yeah, for when we get back to the UK. Yeah. But got a tracksuit. Look at that. Mm. It comes with matching bottoms. 
really smart. It's not like a ta it's like not like a jog joggy bottom mm. suit. It's I don't know. It's a bit more dressier. Let me show you my six euro bargain. So this was spotted on the way home. Well, back to the scooters. And it's the actual shop was called six euro or something, weren't it? To do, so, to do. Todo. Mm. And I thought there'd be a catch, but there wasn't. Now this was six euros mm. and it's absolutely fabulous on. That'd be it's like actually a trouser suit. Yeah. Can you see that? That'd be thirty pounds back on at least. Oh and the rest. It's so light and airy. Yeah. Got a nice low back in the back with it ties up. I love it. Mark reckons I'll like one of Spice Girls. No, you look like a zebra. All right, thanks. The shops are just giving stuff away. Mm. Near enough anyway. It is, isn't it? So, yeah. Might just need some shoes to go with that today, Mark. So, our plan of action is go down into Benidorm and get a birthday tea or dinner, lunch. Yeah, well, yeah, like an early Whatever experience. time it'll be when we get yeah, there. It's not our fun, isn't it? The mornings go dead quick, don't they? They I do. But we're, hey. I've had a birthday shower as well. So have you, haven't you? He's had a shower for my birthday. That's another present that I've got. I've had a shower in van and I save one euro. It's one euro a shower, isn't it? Don't yeah, but I? then unfortunately Lisa has to go in there and tidy mm. up afterwards. I went to the shower block like you should do, really. Anyways, so we're going to go down to find something to eat. You want to go to John and Joseph's, don't you? Um, if I find something else on the way, that might change. We but might we'll change see. It, yeah, but between here and there, there's a lot of places, isn't there? A but lot. it is a bank holiday today, isn't it? It so. is. It's it's now it's going in, Mark. Um, it's something. Oh the God! Least no, we don't. no, it's cut. Oh no, it's not. Do you know? Mm. No one I can't think straight. Um, it has grown in and I can't think of it. I'll try and remember what it is on the way back into Benidorm. But yeah, so it's like a Christmas day, like a bank holiday. Everything closes. If you have a Spanish business, it'll be closed today, but. We're going to go into Benidorm because I don't think Benidorm will be closed. It's like resort time, isn't it? So. Well, people coming in on holiday, aren't they? If yeah. they're coming for a few days, they're losing a day. Can you imagine? They? You come for a weekend and then it, one day is completely I don't shut know everywhere. What are. I mean, maybe legally we have to apply to the I don't know, but we'll go and find out. So won't you give it